front. I can't wait for it to get a fit. Hey, this is Christy Tom with Vintage Fuel ETV, and this is your all access pass to the launch of drag racing in 2009. Let's go check out the Okay, so Garrett, I was down there, yeah. I was filming, and on your first launch, um, I was watching and I was trying to not jump with anticipation when the car launched, and I couldn't help it. As soon as the car launched, I jumped. Yeah. So, I know what it feels like on the outside. What was it like on the inside? Well, it's just way different than an A-Fuel dragster. I mean, the, the A-Fuel car, the stuff's behind you, you don't hear it as much, the motor doesn't rev up as much. I mean, it's it's like you're on a pole, you know? It, it, jumps around, the groove is moving around. I mean, you know, it's harder to see. And on that first pass, it shook a little bit and got close to the sailing, so we shut it off. But I didn't expect to, you know, I should go over here and get a pilot's license at the Air Force Base <laughs> after that last one. So the last one that we just saw, the um, when you launched, the car went a little bit straight and then it just, it was yeah. up in the air and we saw it. So can you walk us through what we just saw? I saw a tree come down and blue sky. That, that's all there is to tell you. <laughs> it was smooth and, and what Blue are you sky. doing inside the car when well, this is just, happening? You, you wait for a second because you don't know. I mean, maybe it's just going to carry it, but it, it it kept going, you know. So and then it's on its way back down, and you don't want to smash the car back down. So you lift the throttle, and you know, and then it's bouncing around. I, I mean, you just hang on pretty much. You know? well, it's awesome. I mean, <laughs> I, you know, I've always wanted to drive a funny car, so you know, I'm I'm living it. I'm loving it. I'll drive it. Yeah. Somebody lets me drive. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, so I good. Thanks. Well, we tried to scare you, but you wouldn't give away. Let's go. Some racing. <laughs> <laughs> we're to say because we heard some fans here earlier say that real cars weren't here. We asked them, said, "Did you know nostalgia flops were here?" Yeah. If if you had to um, tell somebody who is who's never actually driven the difference between a pro car and a nostalgia flopper, what could you? Explain that? Yeah, I mean, th these are just, they're, they're wild. It's like getting on a, stepping off a pony and getting on a bucking bronco. That's, that's what it's like. I mean, that's the difference. That's the best way I can describe it. So would you, know, you say, I, so would you say stepping off a pony, getting onto a bucking bronco is a nostalgia car, and getting onto a thoroughbred that just runs the race, that's a pro car? Well, yeah, I mean, I drove a Top Fuel Funny car one time. I was doing some crossover laps, and, you know, that, it was smoother. It, it just, it wasn't as violent as this car. You know, you got to shift these and stuff, so there's more you got to do. I mean, those cars are faster and all that stuff, and and quicker. But but you know, this is a this is a kick. I mean, there's a lot more you got to do. You got to be you a know? driver. Yeah, you got to drive these things exactly. Yeah, I imagine a, a top alcohol funny car is tougher to drive because they got three speed to them. But but outside of that, I mean, this this is a handful. This is a lot of fun. So I want to get back out there again and go again. No, I don't want that car. To no more wheel stands. <laughs> well. Maybe we'll carry it out this okay, time. Okay, folks, honestly, he is still shaking, and that's your all-access pass. Yeah.